Welcome to this total body workout. Most of my workouts don't involve any props. This is one of the very few exceptions. If you have this type of sliders, please feel free to use it. If not, don't worry. Two towels would just work the magic. And especially if you have dirty floors, highly recommend to use two dry towels. Don't use wet ones. It's going to increase the friction. It's going to make it very, very hard. But if intensity is what you're looking for, feel free to use it. I'm going to use two dry towels today for the workout because my floor seriously needs some cleaning. And if you want to clean the whole space, I know my, my workouts are always small, tiny space friendly, but start each movement at a different spot. By the end of the workout, I'm sure your whole living room, your kitchen, your bedroom, everything will be spotlessly clean. So get the towels ready, put it on the side, and we're gonna start warming up. Feet about shoulder width wide, wider if you're comfortable start leaning side to side toes knees point straight sit back at the heels back straight chest up warming up the hips the inner thigh and go lower each time if you can just moving your waist side to side breathe Hands could be on your hips or in front of your chest, whatever you're comfortable with. Three, two, one. Now, point the left toe up, really sit down onto your right knee, depending on flexibility, you might be here, but try to exaggerate the stretch on your inner thigh, arms in front of you, if you want some stretch on your upper shoulder as well. Three, two, one. Shift your weight to the other side, sit down, right toe point to the ceiling, and stay out, stretching out the upper back, stretching out your hips or inner thighs. Three, two, one, come down, straight both knees, roll down into a wide leg forward fold, grab the opposite elbow. You can swivel your hips side to side, lose another joint. If you have been sitting down all day, or if you're living on the north side of the, the earth, now it's the winter time, everything is tight, just move your joints. Three, two, one, release the elbows, slowly roll up. Now, hands on your hips, feet together. Left leg first, just forward kick. You can start slower. After you get a hang of it, Try to go faster. I can really feel it on my left hamstring. Use your core to stay stable and breathe. Don't lean forward just to bring the legs up. Use the power of your leg and your lower back to kick up. Three, two, one. Change side, the other side. Way on the other leg. Engage your core. You might find that this uh, one side is better with the stabilization, better with the balance, and that's normal. No, no, well, nothing on our body is symmetric, including the level of balance and how your muscles build. And that's what we need to pay attention to with the asymmetry of our body. Three, two, one. Leg, hip width apart. Breathe in, arms up, breathe out, arms down. Sink down into a wide leg squat, like a sumo squat. Hands on your knees, alternate. Shoulder drop. Focus on the range of motion. Warming up the shoulder. Twisting the spine. You should feel really good if you've been sitting down all day. Two more each side. Last one. Slowly roll up. Right leg forward, left leg back. Arm swing, left arm. Go back first. Draw as a big circle as you can. Close your body the other way. Three. Three, two, one. Change side. Again, range of motion. This is my back side. And I can feel all kind of clicking in my shoulder. Change side. And that's one way to warm up. 
three, two, one. There are four blocks for today's exercise. Four movement each, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're going to repeat each block twice. And then you're going to get slightly longer, 30 second break. When I demonstrate the next block, you just need one towel for the first four moves. First one, put the towel on your left leg, come down into down low squat, and then your left leg just swiping in and out, all the way is on your right. Second move, we're going to go back into a lunge. All the weight is still on the same leg. Then for the second one, we change side. Now get ready, come down low, three, two, one, let's go. All the weight is on your right side. Your upper body doesn't move. If you look at the top of my head, you will know like it just stay low at all time. It doesn't go up and down. The only thing you're doing is swiping your left leg in and out, barely any weight in it. You're just cleaning the floor, mopping it in and out. Chest up, way at the back of your heels. Your knee never trick over your toes. And breathe. This is movement one. Then same leg with your weight on. We're gonna be the front leg where we alternate stepping back into a lunge. We're gonna go three, two, one, break. Second one, same leg where your weight is on. Now it's on the front. You just alternate stepping back while sliding back into a backward lunge. You're going to go in three, two, one, let's go. Front knee, front knee, uh, front knee, back knee, 90 degrees. The sliding sensation really adds a different dimension into the move. I find it working more on my hamstring. So if your hamstring is screaming at you, that's normal. Again, the way, not a lot of way at the back knee, just really into Sliding it in and out. Majority of weight is on your front knee. 12 seconds to go. Use your core to give you the stability. How low can you go each time? Three, two, one. Come up with the one leg. Now we we'll change to the other leg. Change the towel on the other side. You only need one. Start in a different spot if you need to. Knee feet together, come down, squat low. Let's go. The other leg, swiping in and out. Just swiping, mopping, whatever you call it. Again, look at the top of my head. My body's not coming up. Muscle under tension at all time on my stabilization leg. The other leg, just very little weight, moving. Just remember, for this move, the moving leg, have very little weight on it. The work is on the stabilization leg. Suck in your core, chest up, breathe. Good job. Three more seconds. Two, one. Come up, shake up the legs. Again, same moving leg, same stabilization leg. This is round one of two. Chest up. Control your breathing. We're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go. Same moving like, how low can you go down? Front knee, never track over the toe. You don't have to go as low. And again, now you will know why a dry towel will work a lot better. Imagine it's wet. Oh my goodness me. How much force would you need just to wipe it in and out, but your floor is gonna love you if you do that. Again, for the second round, if you wanna start at a different spot, to clean a different spot of your house, feel free to do it. Five more seconds. Yes, I can feel my floor is getting clean. Three, two, one, come up, shake with your legs. As I said, round one or two, we're gonna repeat everything. Again, your legs are screaming, but don't worry. Second block, upper body, you get a break. Feet knee together, come down, let's go. First leg, swiping in and out. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. You can do it. How fast can you go? Do the counting. 
sometimes the counting is not about repetition, it's to distract your mind so that you can focus on something less painful, but also keep your discipline, focusing on your form. What are you trying to achieve? How much do you want to push? How much further can you go? Keep going, 10 seconds, we are almost there. I know your stabilization leg is screaming. And that's why it's working. Three, two, one, come up, shake off the leg. Yes, same stabilization leg. That's why it's working. Breathe, five more seconds. Can you push harder? Three, two, one. Same moving leg, going back and in. Chest up. Your weight is always between your two legs, right at the middle. Use your glutes, use your core. Can you stabilize? Your back knee is just above the floor. Chest up. How low can you go? Can you feel your hamstring? 15 seconds. Your arms can be anywhere you feel comfortable. You don't have to do what I do. It takes your workout. Three, two, one. Shake off your legs. The other leg, then you get a longer break. How good is that? Refocus your mind. Knee, feet together. Come down low, chest up, let's go. 45 seconds. You just time. Pain is temporary. The reset is the longer term. Can you sink even lower? And when you're doing it, it's good if you're in front of a mirror or even just film yourself. Make sure you're not coming up as you're swiping the other leg. That's how you know you really put all the weight on your stabilization leg. Take a break if you need to, come up a little bit higher, but join us when you're ready again. Six seconds. I know it doesn't look very hard, but trust me, my legs are screaming. Three, two, one. Shake off the legs. Last round on the legs, then we'll move on the upper body. Yay! How good is that? Feet together, chest up. Three, two, one. Same leg, going back, the moving leg. Always the same moving leg. This time, you go lower. Where are you feeling the tension? I feel it on both of my hamstring, and as I come down, I can feel on my front quad, my back hip flexor. Breathe. Can you use your core? Are you tumbling? Are you being wobbly? If you are, Focusing on your core, stabilization. Three, two, one. Shake off your legs, good job. Block one or four, done. Second block, watch me. On your knees, level one, just do a normal push up. Level two, as you come down, your left hand swipe forward and back up. Swipe forward and back up. On your knees, recommend it if you could. On your toes, good for you. Second move. This is the first one, you need both toes. Just, it's like instead of jerk feet, you go in and out. Third one, you go bridge, alternate, leg out. Hips doesn't sink. The fourth one, you come down to your tummy. You go back, extension, let pull down, extend, drop down, up. Let pull down, extend, drop down. Four move, or upper body. Now, go on to the knees. First one push up, three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna try with my one round swiping forward first. Again, when you drop down, your back glue hamstring is still one line. You don't have to go as slow. Everything in your comfort zone. If you're gonna take a break, go 
Go for it. If you could be on your toes, bravo. Keep going. Night neutral position. Breathe. This makes such a different sensation on your chest, on your shoulder. Three, two, one. Well done. Now, two toes. High plank. Jack feet. If you want more intensification, as you do the jack feet, bring your feet towards your hand and go back out. That's level two. Come down to high plank. Three, two, one. Let's go. Level one. Just stay here. Jack feet, level two, traveling. Bring your feet towards your hand and go back out. While at the same time, your feet are going in and out. I did promise, a spotless floor, in your living room or wherever you're doing your work. And I am not kidding. So happy looking at my floor, getting clean. Without in and out, doesn't matter. Just keep swiping. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Turn around. Now, we're going to do a bridge. Level one, alternately. Leg out. Level two, of course. Both legs out, and then at no time, your butt would hit the floor. Leave your hips up. Let's go. If you're doing alternate, leg out. You can see my hip does not drop at all. Stay low. I mean, stay high, not low. Never low when you're in a bridge. Level two, both feet out. You hit my job, but that's okay. Both feet in. Stay as high as you can. Your hamstring should be screaming at you right now. And that's okay. Breathe. But stay high. In and out. Sucking your belly button. Three, two, one. Good job. And the toes side to the side. On your tummy. Back extension. Let toe down. Extend. Drop. Three, two, one. Let's go. Knees. Hands out, lat pull down, squeeze your shoulder blade, extend out, drop down, up, squeeze, extend, drop. One, you get the hang of it. You can go a little bit faster. But again, range of motion. Squeeze when you come up, when you pull your elbow next to your ribs, squeeze your shoulder blade. Let's go. 10 more seconds. Then we're gonna repeat everything again on the other side with your push up, of course. Three, two, one. On your knees. Now we'll do the other side of the push up. Again, your right arm go forward, left arm bend on your knees. Three, two, one. Let's go. Your back, your glute, your hamstring. Remain one line. Return to normal push up if you need to. Or skip the push up. Just swiping one arm forward. Remember, part of the goal is to clean the floor. Whatever it takes to mop the floor. Clean, go for it. 15 seconds. Form, not repetition. Feel a different sensation that you might have never felt before and enjoy it. Three, two, one. Good job. Both feet on the towel with and without. The pike up with the jack feet. High plank. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's in it now. You on at the top, go for it. You might not be able to get very close to your hands because of hamstring flexibility. That's fine. Go with your own range of motion, but focusing on the effort, on the work. Are you cheating your hands 
should always be underneath your shoulder, rounding your back. When you bring your feet in and you extend out, did you touch the temple? When you're in a high plank, we almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn around. Your bridge, not your average bridge. One leg out, it's already hard enough. Two legs out, your hero on your back. Lift up your hips, hands underneath. Let's go. Again, level one, alternate. Let go. If you need to take a break, just stay at bridge. If you really want to challenge yourself, both legs out and in. Out, in. Your hips might drop a little bit, but push, push, push. How high can you keep it up? I can see on my hamstring, they're not happy. I don't blame them. But try not to block the airway between your chin and your chest. I know it's hard. Keep on breathing. It's gonna make everything better. Three, two, one, drop down. Roll onto your tummy. We're gonna do back extension and let pull down. Squeeze your shoulder blade when you're in the A. Let pull down in three, two, one. Let's go. Lift up, pull down, extend, drop. Lift up, push, extend. Lift up, squeeze shoulder blade, extend, drop. Go at on speed. You do not need to match mine. Find what works for you. If he should work out, I'm just here to give you some tips to provide some movement options. Ultimately, it is how you want it to be. Breathe. Where do you feel it? Can you push a little harder? We're almost there. Break. Good job, halfway. Next four move, back to the legs. What can I say? One towel again. Feet about shoulder width height. Width. Squat. Curtsy. Squat. Curtsy. Same leg again. Yes. And then, same stabilization leg. Stay low. Arms up. Standing knee tap. Similar to block one. Same moving leg for two exercise. And then we we'll change side. Breathe. Five seconds. Left leg on top of the towel. Feet shoulder width. Let's go. Squat. Curse. Back to squat. Curse. Chest up all time. Chest face forward. As your leg going back, going across, your body does not turn. That's how, that's how you can activate the outer glute and the inner thigh. If you turn, just becomes a lunge and it's not the same muscle groups. Stay low. All the weight, majority of the weight is on the stabilization leg. I know, it's screaming. That's why it's good. Move my one. Three, two, one, come up, shake off the legs. Same stabilization leg, stay low. The other leg just pulling in. Tap the hand towards the knees. Catch your breath. Lean forward more if you need stabilization. Come down, hands out, let's go. How fast can you go? As I mentioned, the more you lean forward, the more it helps you to balance. The more weight will be on the stabilization leg. And it's harder than the other, of course. Why would you be celeste? Breathe. Can you tap your knee every time? You're small, almost like a little bit contouring in on the side. So it's not just the middle of your abs, a little bit obliques as well. Breathe, this is cardio. Your heart rate should be going up. Three, two, one. Break. Then, of course, the other leg. 
two movements, then we're gonna repeat. Yes, and then you're gonna be done all legs. Trust me, your legs will thank you. Feet, shoulder width, three, two, one, squat, curtsy, squat, curtsy, breathe. How low can you stay? How much weight can you put onto the stabilization leg? Again, your knee never track over your toes. Doesn't matter what you do. Whether you are in a squat or you're going back into a cursing. Weight at the heels, chest up, back flat. I probably have said this 10 million times. I don't even know how many times I've said it. That's why it's important. Break. Standing, knee tap. The other side, catch your breath, nosy, mouth out, arms out. Weight on stabilization leg. Three, two, one, let's go. The more you lean forward, the more stabilization you're gonna get. But it's gonna be harder on the weight bearing leg. If that's a thing, focus. You should call, you should glute and use the arm movement to give you the momentum. This is a cardio. Normally I would say, don't use the momentum. This one, I don't mind if you go a little bit faster. Get your heart rate up. Seven seconds to go. Three, two, one, break. Woo. Good job. Back to the squat and curtsy. Chest up, get the talent back underneath. Mopping the floor. Different spot, let's go. As I said, feel free to move around as you do this exercise. It can be by blocked, or it can be by each side, or even each movement, depending on how big your place it is. Yes, your floors, should be getting very sparkling clean and that's the happy thought I have in my head as I'm exercising. Chest up. If you're breathing hard, that's normal. This exercise is hard. Three, two, one. Shake off the legs. Standing, knee tap. Cardio, strength, balance, everything. Way bearing leg, arms out, squat, let's go. Lean forward, bring it in. If your legs get tired, use the arm to give you the power to bring it in. As you get tired, the balance will get a lot harder. And that's when you have to start focusing. What is your goal? What do you want to achieve today? And then push harder. There at a steady point. It helps you to balance and stabilize. 12 seconds, we're almost there. One more side of the legs, and we'll go back to upper body, yay! Five, four, three, two, one, shake off. Yes, the other side. I know there's always a good side. Well, there's never a good side, but there's always a worse side. If this is your worst one, Focus, push through. Let's go. Squat, curtsy. Just knowing that this is the last round you have to do this should give you the extra motivation. Yay! Breathe. Chest up. I know it's the last round for the legs. Can you still go lower? Yes, just half an inch, even point one of an inch. If you prefer slider, try the slider. Practice, try different towels if you want to. Three, two, one. Find one that works for you. That's part of the fun. 
that's part of fun of exercising. There's no one size fits all. <sighs> Breathe. Standing knee tap. The other leg. Let's go. Same weight bearing leg. Lean forward. Are you using your core? Are we using your glute to stabilize? Can you tap your hand to your knee every time? Can you lean forward more, squat down even lower, go even faster? Yes, this is the last round. What's there to lose? Except we do have one round of upper body. But that's been about six more seconds. And you get a break. Three, two, one, break. Good job. Last block. We're getting there. First one. Similar to what we did before, but high plank, tuck your knees in and out. Focus on my upper back. Does not move. My e knees are just going in and out. Level two, tuck up, hold away. Second move, we have done this before. Russian twist, hands touching the floor, each side. Third one, mountain climber. You're not even jumping. Fourth one, I want to tell you later on now. On your high plank, two times, let's go. Level one, knee tuck. Breathe, in and out. Upper back, does not move. Level two, if you have the hamstring flexibility, if you want to train your lower abs even more. Knees straight, bring the feet as close to your hands as possible. As you come back out, tuck the tailbone, you're in a plank. Go at your own comfort speed. It's all about everything in control. Three, two, one. Drop down, sit on the floor. Yes, you know, I'm getting the towels. Hands together, legs up, touch each side. So, sit up, roll your shoulder back, lean back, legs up, let's go. Actively push your chest up, don't run your back, your neck, your chin, one feet width apart. Try not to block the airway. If you want more, Twist, watch the direction that your hands are going. It really eccentric or extract it in hands. The rotation, the range of motion, exaggerate the move. That's the word I was looking for. Three, two, one, break. Sometimes when the blood goes to the limbs, your brain's not working. That's a sign that you're working hard. I was working hard. Mountain climber, on your tails, high plank. Three, two, one, let's go. Tuck the tailbone, your butt, your shoulder, let's not come up, stay low. You will find that when you're on the tail, you can actually go a lot faster. So, how fast can you go? Yes, I said, no more legs. But I'm sure you can do it on your quad because I could. And that's part of the move. Focus on your core. Press your shoulder up. High your shoulder, shoulder blade. Engage your upper back. Forget about the legs. It's about your upper body. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Drop down to your knees. Last move. I know, you get to lie down. Lift your shoulder blade up. Touch either side of your toes. I mean your heels. Easy, you touch your toe, good job. Lift up, let's go. As you are alternately touching the heel, your shoulder blades don't drop. Lift up as high as you can. Aim for as far out as you can. 
on either side of your foot. If you can reach your arch, good job. Or move your feet a little bit away from you. If it gets too easy to touch either side, 10 seconds, we're almost there. Good job. Lift your shoulder blades up. Don't let it drop. Three, two, one. Take a break. I know the abs are on fire. Turn around. Last four moves. First one, mountain climber. Everything once again, and you got nothing else. High plank. Three, two, one. Let's go. Sorry, I messed up the move. This is movement three, but that's not matter. I'm gonna switch. The move for this block. Surprise! That's the unexpected. So it trains you with your focus. And if you caught my mistake, if you did, good job. But you're still doing mountain climber. Sorry for that. Breathe. 10 more seconds. Yes, your quads are screaming. Your shoulders are screaming. My biceps are screaming. Everything is screaming. Three, two, one. <sighs> Turn around, I'm gonna show you on the side. When you do Russian twist, roll your shoulder back, push your chest up and lean back. That should be the starting position. Legs up, arms together, let's go. Back, straight. Do not run your back. If it gets too hot, drop your feet on the floor. But still, don't run your back. Lean back as far as possible while you're still in control. Watch where your hands are going. Exaggerate the twist. Deepening the work of your obliques. Good job. Then we go back to our movement one. Should be the pike up. Or the tuck in. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Yes, well done. Whether you're doing tuck in or pike up, up to you. I'm gonna show both options. Again, depending on what you feel comfortable. Come up, high plank. Let's go. Touch knees in, out, in, out. Upper back doesn't move unless you're doing a pike up, then you really try to bring your feet close towards your hands. Lift your tailbone up, but your hands, your wrists are always right underneath your shoulders. 16 seconds to go. Then you get one last move and that was supposed to be a piece of cake. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn around, yes. If you want to use a towel underneath your back so it does not, so your sweat does not drift through the floor, you just mop. Go for it, I'm gonna do it. Whew. Lift your shoulder blade up, let's go. Touch each side off the heels, aim further each time. Can you crunch in more? Can you twist more? Ooh. Wow, the tap underneath my back makes it like a rotating desk. Whoosh. That's a different sensation if that's what you're doing too. Whew. 10 more seconds, we're almost there. Breathe, you get nothing after this, how good is that? Three, two, one, lay down. Take a deep breath, ooh, feel the, feel the tightness. Slowly roll back up, thanks for joining. If you need to leave, that's fine. If you want to join me for a stretch, please stay. Now put the both towel on the back knee, front knee, forward. Minimum 90 degrees, hands on hips. We are doing a hip flexor stretch, chest up, which should feel really good. 
three, two, one. Your hands reach back to bring the, your toes on your heel towards your quad. Rotate your chest and lock up. The opposite arm lie on the floor to keep you stabilized. Really stretching out the pack, the, the back quad. If you're so good after all the leg exercise. Three, two, one. Release the back leg. Stroke the front knee, front toes onto the ceiling. Inhale, extend your back. Exhale, fall forward. Feel the stretch on your front calf and hamstring. Square the hips, deepening the stretch. Two, two, one. Slowly roll up. Change side. Remember, front knee always at least 90 degrees. Hands on the hips. Help to sink the hip a little bit lower. Stretching out, deepening the stretch of your hip flexor. Breathe. Three, two, one. One hand down, the other hand reach back. Bring the heel and the toes towards the glute. Rotate your chest, look up into the ceiling. You're twisting your back, you're stretching your back quad. You're also just doing everything. Relax. My brain start working, the oxygen is all went to all the limbs and trying to repair my muscle. They're all screaming at me and well done for staying with me. Three, two, one. Release, straight the front knee, front toe onto the ceiling. Back flat as you exhale, fall forward more. Three, two, one. Now, pack both knees. Go down in your child's pose. Yes, it feels so much better. As you exhale, walk your hands towards the left side, stretching out the right side of the body. Whilst you try to sit back into your toes, walk your hands back to the center. Inhale. As you exhale, walk towards the right side, stretching out the left side. Inhale, walk back to center. Exhale, push back your tabletop. Inhale, cow to your tailbone pedal. Exhale, cat. Breathe one more cow. Exhale, cat. Now try to push up into an upward dog. So shoulders away from the earlug. You can have your knees off the floor. You can be on the floor up to you. Really extend the front of your body. If it's really good after all the ab exercise, look up. Three, two, one. As you exhale, press back into a downward dog. Elbow straight. Press your chest towards your feet, neck. Just by like neutral position at each up. Three, two, one. Slowly walk your hands towards your toes. Exhale, slowly roll up. Well done, you've done the exercise. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy also your cleaning efforts. See you next time.